So back on the Heimer stand, and this is the Heimer Free 600. So fully equipped for 51,760. Thank you. And gas or diesel heating. So 550 kilos payload. It's got transverse beds at the back and a pop-up roof. You seen the ladder? <laughs> you thought you'd like that. I'm not going up there, but that's what it looks like up there. I think that's what they're suggesting lives up here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Little table. Yeah. A tiny little uh, cooker. Quite cute, really. No oven. With a cubicle wash space. Curtain. Hanging rail. It's got a hanging rail in there. So the big reason for this is the double bed at the back. The it's a fold away bed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good about it. Yeah. So the whole bed folds, folds up and out of the way. I hope that doesn't come down on me. So you get access to all these lockers under here. Mm. How many lockers can I open in five minutes? Challenge. <laughs> you got lockers at the back here. Yeah, I mean this makes a great space. You've got tie down points, bicycles, a couple of bikes in there. I miss the fridge. That's not a bad little fridge. Everything seems a little bit Scaled down. Scaled down. I suppose because yeah. we've been looking at all the big burst uh, nozzles. We've been in that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It controls up there. Actually, it wasn't a huge big thing, was it? No, but everything it's else nice. in comparison. But nice features like fly screen, seats light. See if I can get into the seats and move this great big ladder. Ow, bang me knee. I don't think Jenny's all that impressed. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's good for what it is, isn't yeah, it? it is. If you want to take four people, perhaps two little... So do you put that up? What do you do with that when you're travelling? Well, I, I assume most people are going to leave it in place, aren't they? No, I mean the ladder. Oh, the ladder? Oh, it could go under the bed. Would it? Oh, right, OK. Or, in, in fact, it can go up there, presumably. Don't you lower that down there? Oh, you put the yeah. You definitely put that down. Yeah. Down up the ladder. Only doing one step though. <laughs> and as you can guess, this is not for us. But I can see how this would work. Yeah. Okay. Next. <laughs> That's very nice. I like that. <laughs> No, it's not, oh, not closed now. That's it. I could do that all day. Yeah. Hi, Mobile. So, I wanted to look at a 580, T580 Exis. Yeah, because you said it was a new look. Yeah, we can't see one. No, but this must be a similar inside. But this is an I, so this is integrated, yeah. which means A class. But, um, this is an Exis here. There we are. So this is the Heimer Exis I580, twin beds at the back, and a drop down bed by the looks of it. See what else we can find out here, oh yeah, yeah. 3,500 kilograms, payload, where's payload? Approximate payload 600 kilograms, and a screen that's not doing anything. Yeah. Bin. Nice little bin. Oh, let's have a look inside. Oh, yeah. 
honestly think that those beds at the back, keep looking at these, is getting a bit of a muchness. I mean, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Don't, not really sure about them to begin with. And no. I can keep finding them. Yeah. But yeah, I suppose there's only so much you can do with the motor if you want twin beds, isn't there, really? And you want a garage. And you want a garage, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Well, what we've got in here? We've got the usual sort of A-class thing where you've got something that you can't figure out how to open. Oh, yo, go on, that's stiff. Little locker there. Storage space. The drop-down bed's above my head. Yep. Which you hardly notice. No, you don't. Teddy's behind your head. Yeah. Okay, and it means you've got to really sit there. To yeah. Watch it, well, there's yeah. no hardship sitting here. Well, these seats are from, very comfortable. Today. Bear in mind, this is a. I'm going to say it's a Mercedes, or not? Is it Sophia, isn't it? Yeah. It's very nice kitchen. Yeah. Very nice cupboards there. That looks up. Actually, I was just saying about the headroom. Crack my head on that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Tell me to knock yourself out. Yeah. I'm doing myself an injury. <laughs> Dangerous job this filming business. Yeah, so nice little drawers there. Yeah, very nice. You'd have to watch what you um, put in there. Yeah. You know, to make sure it's down, wouldn't you? Because you've got all these oh, yeah. controls there. Yeah. I don't know what they do. But gas. They turn the gas off. Yeah, but one's got like a cross thing. That's the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like a pan. That's the cooker. It's a cooker. All right, let's do. Yeah. Switch it on. And the other, the right. other's a water heater. Right, thank you. That's all right. Oh, glad to be of service. <laughs> Slimline fridge. All right, let's have a look in the bathroom. Yeah, it's not the biggest bathroom in the world, but I keep finding myself saying that. It's okay. A duck ward. Sink's quite nice. Not different. I'm keen on all these great big steps up here though. It makes one massive double. So open shelves at the back. Let's catch underneath there. curtain to close off the area. I assume you'd have to you'd need a ladder to get up there wouldn't you? Yeah. It's a bit more cramped and yeah. 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 Feels like there should be something to cover that up. There's a catch there. Yeah. Let's move the that. Oh, bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Next. Mm. Yeah. So this is the Amala 615, mass in running order 3050. So 3,500 kilogram gross vehicle weight, and it's got. I can't see the payload. Mass in running order, 3050. Yeah, yeah so, so four, four, 450 kilograms. Let's have a look around the front. So it's very popular inside. Yeah, and this is definitely on a Euro 6D engine. So you pay more on the, the VED. Yeah. Very smart paint job there. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. YouTube slap, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mic rack. Small reversing camera. It's tiny, isn't it? Yeah. Got an outside shower point. Bin in the door. I think that's the slot for your umbrella, isn't it? Yeah. Have a look inside. Yeah. Okay. 
getting increasingly difficult to get in these vans without other people in here so this might be a quick look round but this is a massive beautiful lounge oh, I'm glad I came in here this is different isn't it yeah it is I was getting a little bit bored of twin beds oh, above are. a garage yeah yeah and the answer is yeah no, it yeah. Yeah. yeah loads of lockers thing with ultra trailers they always do lots of lockers so you've got lockers all the way around yeah lots and lots of lockers not see see oh it's a russell hobbs it's a different russell hobbs oh, oh you can see yourself Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the new model. Yeah. Sure. Smallish fridge, but automatic energy selection. Always like these little vans, really, because this is really where we started, isn't it? With yeah. the, this sort yeah, of. Yeah, this is definitely longer. This. Yeah, uh, this is a massive, beautiful you sofa. Could, uh, and you can certainly, yeah, I think you could probably sleep on these easily as singles. Yeah. Morning. Yeah. Hello. Morning. Are you okay? Yes, yeah, thanks. I'm all right. Yeah. Just yeah. filming it. Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. all right. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so you've got lockers there as well. Big wardrobe there. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Let's see what the bathroom's like. Yeah, it's just. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay, the bathroom. It's There's a space to get in there. You can shut the door. And somewhere to swing a cat. Certainly not do the funky chicken. But yeah, shower's good. And you've got somewhere to put your soaps. And hang your wet towels. Bifold door. Frosted glass. Yeah, safe to come out people making a lot of positive noises about this van yeah Robert Nicholl passed us a look at it yeah another yeah and it's it's like I say it's a refreshing change from a lot of the other vans mm. that we've looked at today yeah because it's feeling a space yeah lots yeah. and lots of space in here yeah. yeah it's got a bit of a bulge in the cab up there so it gives you a bit more headroom there but You've got your telly that comes down, haven't you? Like you always have Oh yeah, that's tries. right. Yeah, little drop down telly. Mm. I suppose this. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's a perfect place to watch the telly there. Yeah. Lot to like yeah. about this. Well. Yeah. So yeah. you're not short of storage space. No, no, and it no. probably the same under. The it's other a one? Truma, so. You need to wonder where the yeah, it's probably under here. It's is. probably under here, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna film that. I'm gonna lift it up. Yeah. 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 Your trimmer unit's under there. But you can and your battery. The but battery. there's still loads of space there. Yeah. So because it's nicely blocked that off. Yeah. Doesn't it? With yeah. The I mean, they, are, they do take up a lot of room those trimmer units. But, but yeah, hmm. from about there, it's still storage. It's still storage. Yeah. yeah. And all these covers. It's got a really nice net curtains as well. Yeah. I think they borrowed that from Continental Vans, haven't they? So you've got a nice little slidey mm. curtain thing. Yeah. Decent prop drop down blinds. <laughs> I'd like this. I'd like it. Yeah. I'd like this, yeah. 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 It's it's traditional sort of layout with kitchen at the back pop up square sink full cooker nice wooden cutlery drawer right so this is the Amala 730 HB for high bed it's four berth and it's massing around orders 3200 gross train weight no I don't want that it confused me 3500 kilograms so it's about 300 kilogram payload and it's 59,179 and, and you can get one of those 
bed or a low bed, don't you? Yeah, this is a high bed, so what that gives you is a massive, tall garage. The high bed's way up there. Right. Yeah. It's an island This is an island bed layout, yeah. Yeah. We've got the Auto Trail umbrella. So what's new, it's 120 Euro 6D engine standard. And you've got six in external colours, 16 inch alloy wheels, USB sockets. I'd hope they have USB sockets. <laughs> the Amala. And what they're offering here is a VED rollback special offer on the new vehicle excise duty. Terms and conditions apply. Okay, so layout sort of we're pretty familiar with. Travel seats, table, side sofa. A layout we're not familiar with. Overcab bed. I don't think I've looked at a proper overcab bed. No, no. No, this is a traditional sort of overcab bed. Just a single one, isn't it? A single bed, yeah. yeah. Drop down TV. Mm, that's nice. You see it from here, because stick, stick it there. Yeah, yeah, you can watch TV from here. That would just watch the adverts, shall we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, I'm glad I came to the auto trail stand. Little, little uh, fridge. Little Automatic energy selection fridge, full cooker. That's the one with the big electric hot plate. Ouch, sorry. Washroom type area. Nice shower. No oh, nice showers. And it is it's practical. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. it's got everything yeah. made in a little washroom. Yeah. It's no silly um Sliding doors or bifold door there, hanging rail, somewhere for your soap. Only a single drain hole, but that seems to be lower than everything else, which is always a start. Okay, so this is an island bed model. I think it's one of the ones that, yeah, it'd be one of the ones that push back on it, I think. Actually, really, how on earth can we get through there? Oh, it's tiny. Yeah. I th oh, there's a step there. Hidden step. Hidden step crouching tiger. Can you push that forward? The mattress, just the mattress. Alright, oh, then that goes up. Yeah. That and doesn't seem to go back, does it? No, I couldn't figure out. Although it's got a. Got a that's just for lifting up, isn't it? Yeah. Storage. Well, what's going on there? Plenty of storage. I have to lift that up to get out. Yeah. Yeah. And leave someone's in the bed. Then. Yeah, but you're not going to be wanting to lift that all the time, are you? With, with someone in the bed. Someone in the bed. Yeah. That is a tiny gap. Yeah. Isn't it? Even smaller gap here, look. Yeah, have a laugh at me trying to get past here. Oh. Alright. Oh, right. you no. So there is some way that goes back. But I can't well, see unless what someone it is. can tell me, does that fold back or something like that? I mean, you can lift it up, but that gap is ridiculous. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's on that discord, isn't it? I, th I think that's minus eight points for that. <laughs> oh, plus eight points plus for the Russell about, Hobbs. Yeah, so we're, we're on track. <laughs> Mind you, I, I was all right to so about here. <laughs> This is very nice. Look at the space yeah, you've got there's there. There's a lot of workspace there. Isn't there? Square yeah. sink. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice and that lovely cooker. I like these pop-up electric points. Mm. Yeah. Cupboard space is good. As you'd expect with an auto trial. Dinky little drawer. Dinky little drawer. Yeah, and that's for your cutlery. Yeah. 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 Automatic energy fridge. Yeah, I've done that. Oh, sorry. You're repeating me. <laughs> <laughs> but look, you notice that? Yeah, fan above. 
Because we saw him in London yesterday. Yeah. Well, I think on that massive disappointment, I'm going to find another van. So this is the Amala 734HB. It's four berth. Uh, it's a high line bed model. Seven and a quarter metres long. Its payload looks like a ridiculous 240 kilograms. Mm. 240 kilograms is 58,000 pounds. I mean, it's got a massive garage. To fill that garage up, and your payload's gone. Yeah. There's no payload on that at all. No. I assume you could upgrade it. Just saying, look at the payload. You'd need a chassis upgrade with this. Mm. You're damaging the place now. <laughs> Knocking the bin over. Yeah. Nice sofa arrangement. Shorter sofa this side. Bigger sofa that side. Nice no, worked up. Same yeah, again, same isn't kitchen. It? So what improvements have we got in the bed area? Quite a lot of small mattresses. Aren't yeah, I assume you can lose these. Yeah, but you yeah. can't lose that, can you? No. No, yeah, you've got a couple of mattresses. Presumably there's storage under there, so it's allowed to get in in there so there's a big sort of storage area under under there but the, the bed area how do you get up there is there, a, is there a step that pulls out or something underneath just there under there well, oh i see yeah okay you'd have to move out. that yeah well, but i mean how would you step. get in it once the bed's made up Whew. don't know, don't know. <laughs> To that one. All right, just uh, yeah, a nice bedroom once you're in there. TV point. TV there. point up there. Plug. Yeah, and the max views. Gonna have that blue light shining in the bedroom all day, all night long. That'd be nice, isn't <laughs> it? Cupboards at the back. No cupboards on the side. No. Just the windows. windows. And you've got the high bed, and you've got a tiny little roof. So uh, light up there. The new Ma Ma Russell Hobbs, by the looks of it. Same sort of washroom as the other one. In the washroom and the kitchen. Oh, good. Nice oh, good, aren't they? Yeah. And the lounge. And the lounge. Just not sure about these high bed models, are we? No, probably sort of a low bed version. I probably like it. Yeah. Oh. How are you? Yeah, so Very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Because that TV comes as part of the media pack. Doesn't yeah. It? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's about 1300. The media pack's the media 1300. Media, yeah, yeah. 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 So this has got the media pack, so. Yeah. So it's not just the TV. Though, oh, no, no, no. no. Something else. Well, aerials and yeah. Things. Fans and stuff. That's very nice. That. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next. Yeah, so this is quite interesting, isn't it? So we've seen the Heimers with a pop up roof. The Heimer 3600 and Yellowstone and all those ones have got pop-up roofs. So yeah. this is Autotrail's take on it. So four berth, Euro 6D engine, 6.36 meters long, and 460, 455 payload. So that's got more payload than that Amala. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look inside. So here's your ladder. Wow, <laughs> that's huge. Is it? Yeah, because yeah, it's the whole length of the van. Yeah. I'm not sure I'd want to be climbing up there, but. No. But yeah, if you're into adventures. But it's called the Adventurer, isn't it? Isn't it called that? That will be it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll be the reason. The seats look nice. Oh, they're sculptured. Yeah, this is quite comfortable, this. Yeah. We've got this kitchen area, a sink. Twin burner hob, little combi oven. Nice drawers. 
Yeah. Flat. Little cor corner cupboard. Pop up flap. Control panel. Truma. Storage space up there for bedding, presumably. More lockers there. That's not a bad wet room. It's got a tip up sink, is it? Yeah, drop tip up and drop down sink thing. This has got a separate tap and a separate shower. I can't, I can't close that now. Table there. Can't really show yeah, because yeah, the ladder, ladder's in the way, but uh, it looks like it pops up. Yeah. So it just folds up. Mm. Nice Quite idea. Nice. Moving back. Good hanging space. Mm. But yeah, the reason for this van. Is this lounge area? Yeah, it's a brilliant place. lounge area. Yeah. Yeah. Right, table. Table. Yeah, so you've got that little fold-up table at the front. Yeah, and, and, and I'll pull out. Pull out table. Well, it's a standalone yeah, table. Standalone table. Yeah. 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 I don't know where. We've got under there, so more more storage under there. So soon the heating unit's under one of these lockers. One of these seats, rather. Yeah. But my seats are really nice. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. Good mean with plugs again. Sorry? Good mean with plugs. One electric point there. Assume you'd want to fit the TV in here somewhere. Don't appear to be a socket or anything there. That's yeah, it's up here. Oh is it? Yeah. Oh, Alright. Okay, they've got all the lights on there, blind blinding. Just a plug and a TV twelve volt. Yeah. Okay. No, no USBs anyway. No, no. Should we go on an adventure? You might need. <laughs> just switch that off. Oh. I found a USB. There you found one. Yeah. Alright, just been just blinded there. by the Blinded by the light. Yeah. This is very nice in here. Very comfy in yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose after a long adventure. Yeah, you could open the door and Yeah. Just take in the, the, view. the view of the V line. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And but that you you've almost lost the fact that up there you've got one massive bedroom, haven't you? Yeah. It almost, it almost sort of so you could just leave the lounge as it is and just use the upstairs. You could. In, in the winter you can make up the, the sofa. Yeah, I'm sleeping down here. I think. Okay, alright. You and Poppy can go up there. Okay, well I'm not sure how Poppy's going to get up there. <laughs> you could just lift her. Yeah, you can see that working well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it is a nice idea. Yeah. It, it actually looks a lot more um, usable than that Heimer. It does, doesn't it? It seems to be more room in it. Yeah. But the Heimer was, was only six. How long is this? Oh, this is a 6.36 though, isn't it? So that's why. Yeah, but the Heimer was six. Yeah, but you, an extra third of a metre. Yeah, that's right. Makes all the difference. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you've got access to the under storage there. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. 